Dear Nigerians, for the past seven years, I have served as vice president under a true Nigerian patriot, a servant of the nation in war and peace, and a man of integrity, President Muhammad Buhari. We have, together, worked through some of the most difficult times in the history of our nation, but we have remained focused on securing the country and providing infrastructure and growing our economy. As stipulated by the Nigerian constitution, our tenure will end next year. In this period of seven years, I have served the government in several capacities and I have, at the direction of Mr. President, represented our country in sensitive, high-level international engagements. I've been to practically all local governments in Nigeria. I've been in markets, in factories, in schools, and farms. I've been in agricultural, mining, and oil-producing communities, in the Delta, in Kebi, in Enugu, in Bonn, in rivers, in Plateau, and Undo, and in all other states of the Federation, listening to the diverse experiences and yearnings of our people. I've visited our gallant troops in the Northeast and our brothers and sisters in the IDP camps. I've felt the pain and anguish of victims in violent conflicts, terrorist attacks, flooding, fire, and other disasters. I've been in the homes of many ordinary Nigerians in various parts of the country. I have sat with our techpreneurs in Lagos, Edo, and Kaduna, with our Nollywood and Kaniwood actors, with our musicians from Lagos, Onisha, and Kano, and I've spoken to small and large businesses. I stood where they stood, and I sat where they sat. I know their hopes and aspirations and their fears. And I believe that in those hopes and aspirations are the seeds for the great Nigeria that we all desire. I believe that the very reason why the Almighty God gave me these experiences, these insights, and these opportunities is that they must be put to the use of our country and its great peoples. Which is why I am today with utmost humility formally declaring my intention to run for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the platform of our great party, the All Progressives Congress. If by the grace of God and the will of the people I am given the opportunity, then I believe that first we must complete what we have started, radically transforming our security and intelligence architecture completing the reform of our justice system, focusing on adequate remuneration and welfare of judicial personnel, and ensuring justice for all and the observance of the rule of law, rapidly advancing our infrastructure development, especially power, roads, railways, and broadband connectivity, providing an excellent environment for businesses to thrive, taking the agricultural revolution to the next level, especially mechanization and developing the farm to table value chain, making sure that the government, its agencies and regulators serve the business community, creating a tech economy that will provide jobs for millions of young Nigerians, enhancing our social investment program to a full-scale social welfare program, completing the promise of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty within this decade, completing the task of ensuring that all Nigerians, male and female, attend school, reforming our educational system for relevance to the challenges of this century, completing the task of universal health coverage for all, and strengthening the capacity of states and local governments to deliver on their respective mandates. Above all, front and center of our efforts 
will be the provision of jobs and opportunities for our young people. I now most solemnly and respectfully seek the support of fellow Nigerians everywhere in this land and the diaspora, young and old, male and female, in the great and exciting journey that we have ahead of us. I seek your own support. We will, working together, established by the grace of God, the Nigeria of our dreams in a few short years. We will build on the foundation laid by our predecessors. We will need to move with much speed, intentionality, and perseverance towards the vision of a prosperous, stable, and secure nation. I'm convinced beyond doubt that we have the creativity, the courage, the talent, and the resources to be the foremost black nation on earth. Let us now birth the expectations of greatness conceived generations before us. Let us build a Nigeria where the man from Newi sees the man in Guzo as his brother, where the woman in Wari sees the woman in Jalingo as her sister, where the love of our nation burns alike in the hearts of boys and girls from Goko to Yenogoa where everywhere in this land is home for everyone, where our diversities, our tribes and faiths unite us rather than divide us. Let our tribes become one tribe, the Nigerian tribe, where all are treated fairly, justly and with respect, where all are given equal access to the abundant opportunities that God has bestowed on this nation. It is time. God bless and keep our republic and her great people. God bless you.